Welcome to Planet's Assembly Wizard tutorial. In this tutorial I am using Cabinet Vision Solid Ultimate version 9. The Assembly Wizard is where you can create construction methods for the cabinets you intend to build in a Cabinet Vision job. The Assembly Wizard prompts you to answer a variety of questions to create a set of rules for your carcass parts to follow so that Cabinet Vision will know how you choose to build your cabinets. These sets of rules are saved as construction methods. To access the system construction methods or create a new construction method, simply open the assembly wizard icon from the ribbon bar on the Cabinet Vision startup screen. When the wizard opens, you will see the name of the currently selected construction method along with its construction style. You will also see a parts list and a preview box. You can select to copy an existing construction method that has rules already preset by selecting the copy icon from the main toolbar of the wizard screen. You would then need to rename the method and make the applicable changes to the relevant parts. Or you can create a new construction method entirely by selecting the new icon from the main toolbar of the wizard screen. You will need to name your new construction method. Typically the name you give your construction method should be indicative of the information it will contain or the terminology you use to describe how the parts go together. For example, external back, screw and cap, mortise and tenon, butt joints, etc. Next you need to select the appropriate construction style from the drop down list. The construction style you select for your construction method is very important as it determines what parts will be available in the parts list as well as the questions and options you will have to select from for each part. There can be five construction styles to choose from depending on the level of solid you are using and they could include face frame, 32mm, frameless, frame overlay or closet 32mm. Most commonly in Australia, you will require the 32mm frameless or closet 32mm styles. A face frame or frame overlay construction style is when you require a frame to be fixed to the front of the cabinet carcass which obscures the edges of the carcass and provides the fixing point for your doors and other external hardware. Face frames are features of traditional cabinetry often seen in America and European countries which have been replaced in many instances today and in Australia by frameless cabinets which make use of the edge banding to conceal the edge of the carcass instead of the frame. Now that your construction method has a name and style selected you can hit OK. You are then ready to begin using the assembly wizard to create the rules for your new construction method. In the parts list you will have several branches that group different items. The interior case branch contains all of the internal assembly parts. The exterior case branch contains parts that make up the external case. The operations branch contains questions regarding some generic CNC operations. To run the wizard on a part, expand the applicable branch and double click on the part name. The part wizard will give you a question or instruction at the top, a preview to the left and a selection of answers or fields to enter a value on the right. The questions in the wizard will vary depending on what the part is and they often will refer to adjoining parts to determine where and how the part will sit within your cabinet. It is important to understand that the part wizard you run is for a single part only and although it may appear otherwise, the choices you make for that part will have an effect only on that part. For example, running the wizard for an unfinished back will only affect the unfinished back even if the question you are answering is in relation to how the back sits with the unfinished end. Work your way through each question selecting next after each until there are no more to be answered and then you can select finished. When you have selected finished the part name in the branch will be marked with a red tick to indicate that rules have been applied to that part. This is a good way to keep track of what parts have had rules applied to them. However it doesn't mean that the rules have been set up right or wrong as there are no correct answers here as far as the system is concerned. Cabinet Vision will allow you to construct a cabinet however you choose. You do not have to run the wizard for every single part in order to set up and use the construction method in a room. However it is recommended that you do even for the less commonly used parts on the chance that when you are in a job you decide to customise a cabinet to contain one of those parts. When answering the questions for some parts you may realise that in reality there can be more than one answer depending on what cabinet type the part is going to be used in. 
For example, often there is a top stretcher in a base cabinet, but a full top in an upper or tall cabinet. All rules should be initially applied to the part as if it would sit in a base cabinet. You can then add a breakout to the part and apply a new set of rules for different cabinet types. To apply a breakout, right click on the part in the list, select New and select the cabinet type you want to create a new set of rules for. You can then double click on the breakout name to run the part wizard again for the part making the answers applicable to the new cabinet type. Remember that the set of rules you create in the assembly wizard for your construction methods should reflect the normal manner in which your cabinets are built. Constructions can efficiently be modified at different stages of a job should the need arise for something outside of your standard settings. I will show you how to achieve this in just a moment. Now, to use your construction method in a job, at the beginning of the job at the job properties screen, in the cabinet properties area, you can select it here on the construction tab. Once in a job, you can always access these properties from the ribbon bar if you wish to change your selection. You can make the change for the entire job properties, or you may be able to customise your selections between different rooms if you are using a level of solid that allows you to have multiple rooms within a job. Also, when you are at the cabinet level in Cabinet Editor, you can access your construction method selection by going to the Properties tab in the top left of the screen. Here you will be able to select a different construction method for the individual cabinet. Additionally, if you have a situation where you need a specific job, room or cabinet to follow a different set of rules to those set up in your existing construction methods, you do not have to create an entirely new method to achieve this to select from the drop down menu. There are several ways that you can make changes to the construction method at a job, room and cabinet level. To customise a construction method for an entire job, when you have the Job Properties cabinet screen open, you can select the Modify for this job button near your current construction method selection. This will open the assembly wizard for the selected construction method and allow you to modify the rules for any parts you require without affecting your saved construction method. The changes will only apply to the construction within the job you are currently working in. To customise a construction method for a room within your job, when you have the room open, go to the room properties on the ribbon bar to open your current cabinet construction method selection and you can select the modifier for this room button. This will open the assembly wizard for the selected construction method and allow you to modify the rules for any parts you require without affecting your saved construction method or the construction of any cabinets in any other rooms within your job. The changes will only apply to the construction within the room you are currently working in. To customise a construction method for a specific cabinet, when you are in the cabinet editor, go to the properties tab at the top left of the screen. When you select the construction option on the ribbon bar, you will notice there is no modify button here. This is because you are at the cabinet level where you have the ability to modify individual parts. For example, if you wish to modify the toe, you can select the toe properties. Or if you wish to modify the top, you can select the case properties, and so on. Because you have this flexibility to efficiently make modifications to your saved construction methods whilst in a job, you should remember that although you can use the assembly wizard to create as many construction methods as you need to, the idea is to try and keep your list precise for your normal or common methods, knowing that you will have the ability to make changes for custom construction settings on an as-need basis for individual jobs, rooms or cabinets as just shown. That concludes our assembly wizard tutorial. Thank you for watching.